Hey campers, it is Starbella from Union One Day Camp and today I'm going to teach you how to do a spiral drawing. So during all this crazy stuff, I've been trying to keep myself busy and be creative because I'm very crafty and I like doing all kinds of arts and crafts. Um, so I've learned how to do these spiral drawings and I'm going to show you how to do them today and I'm just showing you some examples of my spiral drawings that I've been doing. And then I'm going to show you the example of the one that we're going to make today. And once um, I teach you the steps, you can do this because all of these patterns started out differently. And so once I teach you the steps, you can make your own patterns and then make your own spiral drawings. And they'll just, they'll all come out different no matter what you do, unless you, you know, make sure and you follow the same steps over and over. So this is the one that we are going to make today. I thought it was kind of cool. Okay, so we're gonna switch views so that you can see what I'm doing and I'll see you back in just a second. Hi campers, it's Starbella again. So for our spiral drawing, I've got a piece of paper that's cut to six inches by six inches. You can use any size paper you want. This is just what um, I've been doing and you can even take a piece of printer paper and draw a six by six inch square and then just work inside your square. And then for today's drawing, I'm going to use a regular Sharpie a fine tip Sharpie. And then if you have a gray Sharpie, that's really good, that gets the shading that I've got around the edges here. You could also just use um, a pencil if you wanted to, to get your shading. So, um, and if you watch the Zen Doodle um, that I'll do later, you'll see um, more shading and stuff as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a border around our sheet of paper. So in what we're doing right now, so this is the border, and then we're gonna draw what's called, referred to as the string, and that is your beginning pattern in each of your spiral drawings. So there's my border. So all I did was go, and I didn't use a ruler or anything. It doesn't matter. See, one of my little edges isn't perfect. It's okay, okay? So then we're gonna put the, the big Sharpie down for a minute and we're gonna get the fine tip Sharpie. If you don't have a fine tip Sharpie, gel pen, um, any other kind of marker or colored pencil, anything you have that you want to use, you can use. And then we're gonna start our spiral drawing and we're gonna go around eight different times and we're gonna make sure we stay in the same direction. And then from there, we're gonna make another string inside that because we're gonna end up with like another box in the middle. So we're gonna start and you go from one corner and you go almost parallel, but not quite because you wanna end up a little bit off. So it's not really a parallel line, but you wanna keep it very close to being parallel. And so once we do a full rotation, like that, that's one. So that's one time all the way around, okay? And then we're gonna start again. And I like to rotate my paper. It helps me get a straighter line. They don't have to be straight, because as you can see, mine aren't perfect. And I'm not using a ruler or anything like that. So that is our second time around. Like I said, we're gonna do this eight different times. So here we started on number three. And like I said, you can, you can do this in pencil. You can do it in gel pens. They're really pretty. Sometimes you know you can add some color. Like it would be probably pretty cool um, to do, sorry, that was a three times around. Now we're gonna start on four. If you did each one of these like in a different color of the rainbow and then you work down to the center, that would be really cool too. See my line started going, whoop. Kinda got a little soft there, so I went back over it. So that's four now, see, one, two, three, four. So now we're gonna start again. This is gonna be line number five or rotation number five. 
and you can see here you know they're not mine aren't all equal distance or anything like that so it's okay if you have one that looks fatter than the other or one that's skinnier than the rest all of that is a okay see now we've got one two three four five six Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I gotta do my seventh line over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this is our last time around. This will be number eight. So two, three. Four. All right, so now we have eight lines here, eight lines here, eight lines here, and eight lines here. I'm going to put my little Sharpie back down again, okay? I'm going to connect these two points. And I'm going to connect these two points. And so, like, I've made, like, a big X, and then I'm going to make, like, a star... So I'm going to go from there to there, and there to there, okay? And then I'm going to put the cap back on my um, big Sharpie again. I'm going to put it down. Then I'm going to go back to my little Sharpie again, and we're going to start and do each one of these triangles, and we're going to spiral, okay? So you're going to start in the center each time, and then go to the left, the left top point. So we're going to go from here. To here and so then we're going to spiral in each of these triangles the same way that we spiraled out of the um, square to start with on our piece of paper and you just try and you got to keep the same direction so wherever you um, end from is the point that's the closest. I hope that makes sense. And then you just keep going and going and going until it gets really little. And it's almost like an optical illusion. Okay. So and again we're going to start from the center and we're going to go out to the top left. Because see this would be our right, this is our left. And we're going to do those same steps again. And we're going to repeat them in all eight of these triangles. Like I said, I like to rotate my paper. It helps me get straighter lines. And I've noticed in doing this that I'm really good kind of drawing side to side with my hand and making stuff straight but trying to go like up and down, my hand wiggles more. So and you might be the opposite. You might be able to draw up and down better than you draw side to side, yeah, because everybody's different. So there's our second one. And just so you know, this can help you with your junior staying fit badge. Um, step three is to know how to lower stress and to do doing these spiral art sessions is like very meditative. It helps reduce stress. It helps you control anxiety. It promotes, promotes emotional health and your sense of self. It lengthens your attention span because you gotta sit here and concentrate and you gotta make sure you, know, you don't mess up which direction you're going in. It can help um, generate kindness uh, towards yourself and towards others. It can help you fight bad habits, improve your sleep. Like I feel very relaxed after I do these because you're doing the same pattern over and over and over again. So it, it, like I said, it kind of helps you meditate. Um, it can also lower blood pressure, which I don't think any of you have to worry about yet. Um, and it can help you control pain. Um, but you can literally do this anywhere. So if you have a piece of paper and a pen, 
anywhere you go, you could sit here and do one of these. You could do one on a post-it note, you know, while you're sitting in traffic or um, sitting in a doctor's office waiting to be seen by the doctor. You can, you can literally do these guys anywhere. As long as you have a piece of paper and a pencil. And you can start off with any, like I told you, it's a, called a string, the pattern that you start off with. So like our, we really didn't start off with a set string until we got to the middle after we had spiraled some. And then the star pattern that's in the bold is like our string. So there we go. And then this too, you can see in this one right here, to right here, this is what they call a twisted column. I can show you in um, some of my artwork too. I can go back and show you guys the twisted column. So it depends on which way you start and do your spiral drawing from. You can get different patterns. And I'll show you that in a second. We'll go back and look at some of my examples. The other thing this will help you towards is your junior drawing badge. Step two is to add shading. So when we're done, we're gonna add some shading. Um, this will also help the cadets. Um, it's the science of happiness badge and step one is to make yourself happier. So if you like to do arts and crafts and stuff and this is something that kind of um, interests you, then it would definitely make you happier to do this. I'll show you what we can do to correct that in just a second, too. And you'll never know that it was there. So since this one kind of got a little bit fatter on me, what I can do is I can just go back and do like that. And you really can't see that it's there unless you're really looking for it. The other badge that this will help you for, the seniors have a women's health badge. And it's step number three. And it's focus on techniques to help you stay emotionally healthy. And meditation and doing stuff that makes you feel relaxed and to de-stress and just overall make yourself happier will help with all of that and then you can also you guys can teach this to your parents and other troop mates or other friends. We've got two little sections left to go, guys. And if you're watching this, not doing, doing this live with me, you can always hit pause anytime because I know that I am probably drawing a little fast, especially for someone that's never done this before. So you can hit pause and go back anytime you need to. We're left with one section, guys. So again, we're going to start from the center. We're going to go to the top left one. show you guys where I added the shading. Okay, so now here's my artwork. I'm going to put a cap on my um, little Sharpie and I'm going to grab out my big, my fat black Sharpie again. And you can see on my drawing where all these lines that we've made have started to kind of make this little pinwheel type shape. It's 
we're going to go over those and make them all bolder. And we're going to take this into this one too, see all the way into that middle. And we're going to take this one down and in. So down and in. Up and out. And I think you can start to see my pinwheel some more. Hope I'm being loud enough too for the video. So you see this pinwheel star type shape start to pop out of what I just drew. And all I drew was a bunch of slanted lines. It looks like triangles. And now I've got some star pinwheel looking thing to come out of all this. Out of a bunch of lines. That's kind of cool, right? So now you can see kind of pinwheel design. Now I'm going to cap my black Sharpie and I've got a gray Sharpie and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to put a shade line right underneath the black one that I just drew. Make sure none of the white shows through. Okay. I'm just going to do that on the outside of my pinwheel design and that's really going to make the pinwheel design kind of pop out of the page for you. And you can use this technique to make cards for people. It just means something a little extra because you know you took time and you thought about them while you were designing the card. Just kind of an extra special. Okay. Yep, two more areas to shade and then we're gonna say goodbye for now. We will catch you the next time. I am gonna show you the patterns that I was talking about that you can get from changing the way you do the lines. So there, all my lines are drawn and shaded. So now you've got all of that. I'm gonna cap my marker, grab my things back out again. So, and this one you can see, this design right here is called the twisted column and you can kind of see it looks like a column and it looks like it's kind of twisting. So that's the twisted column pattern. And then this one, these are the fans, and so when you're at a point, like so, and you can see where my darker lines are right here, are where the string that I started from. And so this right here, we started from this corner and went up and went all the way around that way. And on this one, we started here and went up and went all the way around this way. And then we got this cool fan looking pattern. So depending on which way you start, and stuff in each of your little blocks, you're either gonna get this twisted column like it's outlined right here, or the fan that's outlined right here. So I hope you guys love doing spiral art, and I will see you guys again next time.